Hello and welcome back here friends, it's me Odo. I'm back in my campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, last time we found a Temple of Baphomet inside the Temple of Aerithville. A diary, we found a diary. That's interesting, we will look at that. What's this? An antler of monstrous proportions set in steel. The beast to which it belonged must have been as large as a house. Okay, that's probably left from the Aerosteel crypt. Because it's in the crypt or so. Hmm. Let's read the diary first. There is the diary. Mira is three days old. Okay. What a happy day. I'm strong enough to hold a quill again, and I can now write of my joy. My prayers have been answered at last. I prayed desperately for many years to the goddesses of beauty and fertility, but they only responded with silence. Mother Lamashtu alone answered my, alone answered my prayer. Finally, Myra was born. It was difficult for me to bear her for nine months, but looking into her golden eyes and seeing her pretty smile, I realized that all the hardships were worth it, and all the terrible rituals I wish I could forget. It's such a pity that my husband didn't live to see the day. Myra is six months old. The wet nurse refused to feed her, that the baby baby bit her breasts too hard and sucked out the blood. What nonsense. True, my little girl was born with teeth. That doesn't make her a bloodsucker. She's my angel. Well, you ask Lamashtu, she's the goddess of monsters, I think. We can remember the, the nice goblin who worshipped Lamashtu, who ran with us in Kingmaker, he was great. Great, great thief and assassin. Uh, Myra is five years old. Myra is five, but I still breastfeed her. She just won't let go of me. I'm the only one who can bear her little teeth. The servants leave us one after another. They say they are frightened by rustling in the night and that girls discover and that girls discover bite marks and bruises on their arms and legs in the morning. Hmm. The housekeeper was the last to leave. She said she woke up at night to the sound of scratching up above the ceiling beam. She swears she looked up and saw Myra crawling across the ceiling. She showed me claw marks on the wood too, but of course I told her it was all ridiculous. My baby sleeps blissfully at night, but the silly woman packed her things nevertheless. Myra is five and a half. Myra loves me so much it's impossible to pull her away from my breast. It worries me that she doesn't want to eat vegetables. The cook complains that the little girl sneaks into the kitchen and snatches pieces of raw meat right out of her hands. My poor girl, no one wants to be friends with her. Can't, can't, can't think why. That's why she plays such strange games. Myra is six. The cook has vanished. She probably ran away in secret. Myra slept all day. Her little tummy is so bloated. I'm afraid she might have contracted an illness from the uncooked meat. <laughs> Myra is six and one month. I found that what was left from the cook in the compost pile. I don't know what kind of animal chewed off her breast and ripped chunks of meat from her stomach. A wolf, perhaps? A rabbit dog? Absent-minded, I didn't hear Myra come close. She laughed joyously pointing her little finger at the rotting remains. A child's innocence. She doesn't even realize what she was looking at. This may be the last thing I write in my life. My milk is not enough for Myra anymore. 
she wants more from me and the wounds from her little teeth get deeper and deeper now i understand what happened to the cook i'm afraid but i'm her mother i must be strong and give my child everything i can myra is near i can hear her crystal laughter great mother lamashtu i beg you care for her when i'm gone she has no one but us um yeah <laughs> nice I, I don't know what what should i do with this information i hope i don't have to do anything with this information Okay, let's look what happens when we touch this. Can't anyone else touch it? Like the, the people good at fighting? Ah, okay. Burial rites fulfill several functions. They mitigate the physio psychological strain of parting with the disease, they neutralize a source of disease causing miasmas. And they suppress the spread of cannibalistic and necrophiliac acts in society at large. I'm pretty sure this is not a big problem, which can be solved by by burial rites. <laughs> there are many ways of disposing of a corpse: burning, dissolution, harsh chemicals, ingestion by all members of the community. But by far the most popular method is burial. A grave protects the corpse against carrion eaters, serves as a place of remembrance, proclaims the merits of the deceased and of special, import of special importance when all safety measures are taken, gra taken, grave burial prevents the deceased from coming back and visiting their still living re relatives. Commander examines the stone sarcophagus resting in the crypt of the Temple of Aristil. It was used as a feasting table for demons until there very recently. Bones were scattered across the stone top of the sarcophagus. Some are easily identifiable as human finger bones. A human eyeball floats unappetizingly in a clay bowl. Next to it lies a half orb rib cage. The commander decides that it is worth examining the sarcophagus to examine the symbols of this on the sarcophagus to deal with the sarcophagus later. What? No. Let's, let's do this first. At first the symbols are unfamiliar to the commander, but his eyes soon land on a familiar combination of letters. De la Mer. This is the name of the cleric Criado mentioned in the conversation with the commander. This sarcophagus undoubtedly contains the body of a priestess of Aristil, Elamere the Blessed. It is unlikely that the young cleric could have read the inscription written as it is in such an ancient tongue. However, the information Kyado provided is enough to help the commander unravel the mystery. On the lid of the sarcophagus, the symbols from a circle form a circle. The commander notices that the seemingly solid slab is actually composed of several pieces in this spot. The hairline joints between the fragments are almost impossible to see. In Sarkoris, there exists a funeral tradition in which the priests would place magic seals such as this on tombs. The symbols on the seal are threatening. I guard the eternal sleep of Delamere. Cursed be any who dare to destroy me. Okay. Uh, we can do a law religion, law arcane. So you can probably be pride. Yeah, let's let's do a, a prayer to Eris still first and fail. <laughs> Recalls a suitable prayer, but the stone seals show no re reaction to it. Why, why do we want to open it anyway? It is likely that the priests of Sarkoris worshipped Aristotle in their own ways. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a plus 23 and a plus 21. So let's do the knowledge arcana first, because it's easier. We just have to. Mm -hmm. 
succeeded in knowledge arcana. After several attempts, Latipas Fast manages to break through the spells placed on the sarcophagus. The symbols on the stones seal being to glow. With a click, the seal crumbles into pieces and the lid of the sarcophagus leads open. open. Why do we even open this? I, I, I'm not sure about that. Inside the sarcophagus lie the remains of a female archer. The bones are held together by leather armor covered in the same symbols as those on the sarcophagus and the skeleton hands are clutching an impressive bow made from an antler. Surprisingly, there is no unpleasant smell from the remains. The commander hmm, decides to have the remains and relics moved to Dresden. He reverently touches the relics and closes the lid. Well, I mean, um, <laughs> let's take the relics. I mean, <laughs> this is this is the way to go, is it? I mean, it's a bow, probably a really good bow for um for Len. I don't know. I I really don't know. Pooh. We could bring them to Dresden. Probably we can make the bow even even stronger. I mean, the decent thing would would be to to close it again. I'm not sure why we opened it anyway. Do we have any Aerostill guy with us? No, I don't think so. Let's do this. The body resting in the sarcophagus looks majestic, majestic and not at all off-putting. It is easy to imagine how Delamere looked when he was alive. A regal woman with a proud chin, broad shoulders and strong arms of an archer. Her appearance would have garnered people's trust and even blah 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 blah. We'll come to Dresden now to pay homage to her in her rest, new resting place. Okay. Follow my lead. Are there any openings there? No. Let's go upstairs and look if he's dead. They didn't bluff. A, a red swarm, level three. Hmm. Okay. These swarm of rats are normally terrible things. To hit. Easier than I thought. Okay, guy's dead. Let's look at him. Everything. And I know we lost, we forgot something to loot down there. Last time I saw that we lost something. Yay, what's this? Love? These are not love. 
ultimate premium burn. These need that ground of error uh, plus two insight bonus on attack and damage rolls made with natural weapons against animals magical beasts and Let's see if we can put it on you. Heavy paws. These knee pads let the wearer deal additional 1d6 bludgeoning damage on critical hits made by natural weapons. And this is a plus two bonus on attack and damage rolls made with natural weapons against animals, magical beasts, and monstrous humanoids. Hmm. What's better? Probably this one. Nice. Move there and move back to Dresden. Was good that we went there to the loot. Mm -hmm. Should we look around and see if we find something? Up here? Like anything of value? Probably not. Nope. No further way this direction. Don't think that there is something important. Ah, probably on the other hand. No. Just just move there. Just because I think that there is nothing important doesn't mean there is nothing important. Okay, there is nothing important. Hmm. Can we move there? We can't. I don't think that we need something there as well any, anymore. We did something evil, we did something good in this temple, so it's okay. Let's move out of the area. Demon's army approaching. Interesting. Let's move in this direction and see if we get there. Hmm. Where do we go when we go this way? Okay. Where do we get when we move up there? Hmm. 
Let's await this traveling merchant. Ah, no, a traveling merchant. This would have been fun, probably. Uh, let's move with troops. Like you, move down there. As I said, we will move you to the south. Where all these new armies are coming from. Like the level 7 army. Oh, there is a level 4 army as well. Interesting. These armies are moving towards us. I mean, I don't have any fear about this level 4 army, but the level 7 army could be quite dangerous. Uh, dangerous. Level 6 army. I mean, there was no way in this direction, so don't know where to get there. But there is a level 6 army. Let's just get rid of this level 6 army next. Travel there. Ah, we can build some troops. So my level 4 army, where are you? Where is my level 4 army? There it is. Go to Dresden. And let's buy some new units like marksman recruited marksman oh we can buy these conscripts recruit them good this makes my army stronger Wait. Ah, we can't do this because, yeah. Okay. But. Uh, can you just. Can you not just start a new army? I mean. No. Uh. Okay. This army moves up. Because we wanted to go to these armies anyway. We are stronger now. Good. Now, back to you. Really? We also have this level 1 army. Let's, let's move down there. So you're not in the way. Now, back to you. Thank you. Let's search one time. No! I didn't want this. Oh, I should have taken the Hell Knights. No one needs these stupid champions. No one needs these guys. Ah, okay, we can't take them. Ah, that's, that's not too bad anyway, because... Okay, you go here. No, come on, stupid army, just go here. No, 
I mean, is this really so hard? Okay, go here. Thank you. So, back here, let's recruit these guys. Travel here, travel up there. Let's uh, combine. And uh, Hansel. Now you're level five even. Nice. So where do we go? Do we go this direction or that direction? Let's go. Oh, let's see. What's this for an army? It has some bugs and it doesn't look too. It doesn't look too strong. And what's this army? This has elementals. It looks. It looks stronger than the one up. To the north. So let's do the north northern army first. Also, there is another level five army. That look white whoople. Okay. So what's this? Ah, we have some some things to do. There are some decrees. Mm -hmm. Royal Council's help. Royal Council values the commander's loyalty to the authorities. They are ready to prove this by sending to Dresden a replenishment from the regular troops. Wait, what? 100 conscripts are recruited at the commander's headquarters. This costs us 1,000 points. Yeah. Of course we'll do this. What's the relics of Delamere? Ah, yeah, this is what I thought would happen when we sent them to Dresden. The commander discovered the burial site of this Saint Delamere, God Aristil's famous discipline. Disciple. Her relics are now preserved in a solitary temple in the middle of the waste. Mm -hmm. So wait, what's that we do? We have military, logistics, diplomacy, and there is uh, the crown thing. What's the crown thing? Why do we have nothing for the crown thing? Yeah, we don't have anything for the crown thing. Interesting. It's uh, leadership. Yeah. We have diplomacy for even... And logistics we can move up also. Good. So next we'll do this. Enter because we will we will do some things here as well. Let's build stuff. Uh, let's do an archery range to increase our archer output. Stables, barracks, 
hospital. The hospital is where clerics and healers tend to move soldiers. Plus five percent bonus to infirmary size for all generals. Hmm. We we are really good with the infirmaries right now, so we probably don't take this. But the barracks will be nice. And what's the citadel? The citadel increases the time. Yeah, if we are attacked here, it's better. And what does this do? Plus ten bonus to energy for all all generals. Eh, don't know. Supply center looks better. The construction of the building will be finished in uh, advance of the crusade deeper into enemy territory landfill supply routes and complicates logistics. By center is a citadel of scribes, clerics and coachmen, blah 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 blah. Supply center increases materials points income by three. Only one supply center can be built. Yeah. Okay. Watchtower, plus one bonus to attack AC, saving throw initiative. Nah. Let's do some barracks as well. I'm not sure, should we do the stables as well or should we keep this place for something? That's probably more interesting. I don't know if we need the citadel or the hospital. I don't think that we need the laboratory. Let's keep it like that for for now. I'm not sure these um, troops, the, the cavalry is not very effective. Wait, what? Why are they approaching again? What? Why? What? V? <laughs> okay, I'll stop here for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.